Thank you to Webex for sponsoring this video. So this was the first time in like two years that traveling uh, didn't feel that strange. As we get to the end of, let's call it the panda, uh, things are starting to get back to normal. And one thing that's clear is a work environment is never gonna get back to what it was. And on that vein, uh, I actually went to Orlando for the first time ever uh, and went to a new conference that I never heard of called Enterprise Connect, uh, where WebEx was showing off sort of new ways that they are bridging the gap between home and work and kind of making that world kind of be one. And I know it's not the craziest thing, the most amazing thing to think about, uh, but they were showing off a bunch of stuff that I guarantee you, you can use and should use in your everyday life. But before I get into all of that stuff, I've been doing this now for almost four months and I love doing it. It is giveaway time just to say thank you. Thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for supporting me and the other channels uh, that we have here at JFL. I just want to say you are awesome and amazing and we're giving away a $500 cash gift card to buy whatever you want, whatever you want. It's open to anyone in the world to let it run for two weeks. I'll put all the information you have to know uh, down below. But the moral, leave a comment on what you would do with one of these new WebEx things, but leave your social handle in the comment. So I contact you if you win. If you don't leave your social handle, cannot contact you. So do that. Let's talk about some WebEx. So remote work is obviously here to stay. We haven't done any in-person meetings here at JFL for almost eight months at this point. Uh, even more importantly, I think hybrid work uh, is becoming really the norm for companies all over the world as people start to get back to normal and some are going to the office, some are not, some are just remote and then everything in between. And the working environment has obviously changed with it, right? Technology has become extremely important to make this transition seamless and WebEx is, I kind of want to say obviously, uh, leading this push with hardware and software that's Pretty darn industry leading. Some of the updates that WebEx announced Enterprise Connect make a huge difference. Not only working remotely, giving you flexibility to get work done whenever you want, but wherever you can. So all this stuff got announced uh, at a keynote. And that was cool, it was my first time being in a keynote. I mean, at this point it's been uh, almost three years. So they were showing a bunch of new ways to have video calls. I didn't think there was any new ways to really do video calls. You have a bunch of people in a room, they have little rectangles, and they talk to you. Uh, turns out it's a good thing that I do not design products uh, for companies, because there's a lot more you can do. So this is people focus. And it was a really cool way to sort of make I guess, the people see more in focus. It brought the screens larger, brought it more collaborative. It got rid of a lot of the black space they typically see uh, in the UI. And it made the meetings seem more personal. So I've used the term hybrid a lot. And generally I use hybrid in regards to like miles per gallon. Um, but like, what does that mean for work? Uh, so whether I'm here in the studio, at home, or in the car, I can interact with JFL team with whatever software and hardware I've got available to me at that moment. So one of the best updates with this is device interoperability. So WebEx makes a bunch of products that sort of help with that. So there's a desk mini, the desk pro. And these are two dedicated conferencing solutions that make video calls uh, of just way higher quality than we're used to. Because they're made by Cisco, you might not have a huge incentive to use these things unless everything you do is with WebEx. Uh, but now, you can actually use any conferencing software you want. So if you use Teams, Google Meet, Zoom, these software platforms now all work on the hardware and it almost seems native, it's totally seamless. You can switch between different softwares immediately depending on the meeting you have to attend using what they're calling RoomOS. And the collaboration tools work as well. So things like Whiteboard, work in these third-party applications. So now this hub really is all you need to work and communicate with your team, and it makes having the hardware at home way more palatable. So for example, you could have your calendar up on your desk mini at home, and you could have a meeting with Google, followed right by a meeting with Microsoft Teams, uh, and then jump into a meeting with WebEx, and it all works, again, natively. You push a button, you are in the meeting, you're in the waiting room, whatever, ready to go. And that's cool. Probably the coolest thing to me that got announced Enterprise Connect uh, is AirPlay support. So WebEx partnered with Apple to essentially turn these displays into AirPlay displays. That means playlists, that means pictures, that means movies, that means mirroring your screen, using it as a second display. All the AirPlay stuff that you want are now here. Making those displays, while looking nice, adding a bunch more utility to them. So now they're not just for conferencing, 
They're awesome for you know listening to your music or podcasts, whatever you want to do. Adding airflow, I think, give these things just infinitely more utility. Another reality of hybrid work is obviously your phone, right? Uh, so sure, at the office, you might have like a dedicated phone with its own phone number. Uh, but when you bust out of there uh, and jailbreak, you likely have to use your own cell phone. So and that'll make receiving calls I don't know, sometimes confusing, right? Are they calling me personally? Is this for work? Is it an unknown number? All that kind of stuff. But with WebEx Go, you can actually add your business line to your personal phone so you know if the number calling you is work or personal. And because using Cisco's like really solid enterprise-grade calling features, all the stuff you'd expect that you would anywhere else, like call recording, voicemail, and privacy support, all on your cell phone when you are not at the office, or even if you are at the office. So all that is cool, and I think AirPlay will still probably be my favorite announcement, but like a close second was actually they were talking about Ford cars, and that was a bit surprising at first. So if you don't know, I got three kids, I dropped them off at school in the morning, and I generally pick them up in the afternoon, and a lot of my meetings are done waiting in that pickup line in the car. And usually that's a combination of checking what software that meeting has. Is it Teams? Is it WebEx? Is it Google? Is it Zoom? Whatever. Making sure that app is on my phone working, making sure that my phone is paired properly to Bluetooth, and then trying to dial in and take that call. It's a mess, not safe while driving. Um, but what WebEx is doing with Ford seems really awesome. So they're integrating with Ford's EVs. So that'll be the Mach-E, the Lightning, uh, whatever other future EVs tend to come, integrating directly into the OS. So that sync sort of give you one click WebEx. So you've got a meeting coming, you click one button and you are in that call and that's it. So obviously they take in the fact that you're in a car into consideration. So you know, when you're driving, it's, it's voice only. Uh, but when you are part, you can actually get like full video conferencing going on, which is a pretty cool thing to see. This might not seem like a giant deal, but if you've tried to log into meetings from a car, I think you'll realize how awesome this is uh, to actually have. So first time I've seen sort of native support built into a car and hopefully it's the first of many. All right, so the last thing that they kind of talked about um, was it's called WebEx events. And again, the hybrid thing, events are things that are gonna happen. Some people wanna be there in person, some people wanna just do it from the comfort of their home while wearing you know, a dress shirt and sweatpants. Uh, you now are going to have that option. And it's gonna support all the stuff you'd expect for events, registration, ticketing, sponsorships, all that stuff totally end to end is going to be built in. And this might not sound like something that you would use, but if you're the type of person who does these, sets these up, this is going to be an absolute game changer uh, for you. So that was the highlights of what I saw at Enterprise Connect. So listen, I get that talking about hybrid work environment may not sound like the most exciting thing, but it is something that I think impacts absolutely everybody. And if it's going to impact you, you might as well get the best experience and the easiest experience for you. So in some people working from home want the office at home. They want that experience. They don't want to miss out on anything. And I get that. Some people are rushing back to the office as quickly as possible. I get that too. A lot of people want to find that balance. And what WebEx is now giving you uh, is the tools to find that balance and pick and choose how much of the office you want in your house. And when you open that door up, to give you the best experience and the best tools to make it happen. And that, I think, impacts absolutely everybody.